Hey folks, happy Wednesday to you. We continue our FUMCC devotional Wednesday, uh, September 8th. And the passage today is John chapter 11, verses 17 through 44. John 11, 17 through 44. I would encourage you to hit pause right now, read that, and then come back. It's a long passage, so I don't want to uh, take our time to read it here together. So go read it. Come back. It is the passage that we will be focused on this coming Sunday morning as we talk about what it means to have the heart of Christ for the world, what it means to embody Christ's heart in the world. And in this passage, we see um, perhaps the, uh, one of the most heartfelt responses that Jesus ever makes. Um, and if you are looking at this story, so uh, just to, to sort of set the scene of this story as you're thinking about it. So Mary, Martha, Lazarus, they live at Bethany. Bethany's just outside of Jerusalem. That seemed to be Bethany and the home of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. These are brother and sister. Um, that seems to be the kind of home base for Jesus and his disciples when they're in Jerusalem. So Mary, Martha, and Lazarus have become Christians. They're followers of Christ, but they stay there. They don't follow him all around. They stay there in Bethany. When he and the disciples come back to Jerusalem to do ministry there, they stay at the home of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. So these are very good friends, very close um, uh, people to Jesus. And uh, Lazarus dies, um, is, well, is sick. They send for Jesus. Jesus doesn't go. He says, I've got to do this other stuff, but I'll come eventually. By the time he turns his attention to coming to uh, provide some healing for Lazarus, Lazarus is dead. And Mary and Martha are devastated. Um, and uh, so Jesus goes to the tomb. He, he sees that, um, that Lazarus has died. Um, and he is kind of confronted with this grief by Mary and Martha. Um, and then it says that in verse 35, Jesus began to weep. Some translations say Jesus wept, the shortest verse in the Bible. Jesus wept. And, and we see this, um, this heart that is broken for his friend, um, and I think of the way in which we can be the heart of Christ for the world. You know, sometimes our heart is shown because we're sad, we're grieving, we're broken, as Jesus was in this case for someone else. Sometimes our, our heart can be shown in this story through the ways in which Jesus doesn't immediately go to Lazarus, but he understands that there's others who are also in need, probably people who are less familiar less friendly, less acquaintances with Jesus, but he um, focuses on them. And that's part of the heart of God that, that we can express. Perhaps some of it is a grief um, and a regret. So could I have gone sooner? Should I have gone sooner? He's died. What, you know, did I make a mistake? Maybe some of that weeping is out of regret. We don't know. It doesn't say. It just says that he knelt and he wept. And the real question when we think about showing the heart of Christ is, for whom does our heart break? For what situations in the world does our do our hearts break? What ways might we be able to be with people, weeping amidst the sadness and grief with them, that this is part of the way in which we uh, bring to life the heart of Christ in the world. So hope this is helpful. God bless. Have a great day.